Sorkler, and welcome back to the director of football, Journeyman, with Cerro Parento on Football Manager 2020 with me, Foggy Place. Today we're taking on Liga de Quito and Libertad. Um, we're already guaranteed a buy from the next round, we're into the round after, so fantastic, delightful. We are going to be watching uh, the Universidad Católica and Flamengo game with one eye on who's going to be going in to the next round. If we lose the game, no, I was going to say Liga de Cueta, Cueta, Cueta could, in theory, qualify. They can. It, Universidad Católica would need to lose and Flamengo would need to draw. And I don't think that's possible in a game where they're playing each other. I think the result has to be one or one. It has to be one way. It's only two or three of them. Anyway, that's not the important thing. The important thing is we are guaranteed qualified into the next round. The games since you were here last. Uh, what game did you see? You saw the Flamengo game. No, you didn't. You did not. You saw the Universal Catholic game. Literally recorded this half an hour ago, an hour ago maybe. We went and beat Deportivo Capitia 3 0, uh, Santiago Casillas with a cheeky little brace, and Martinez, our centre back, scored as well. Nacional Paraguay beat them 3 0, Cesar Gomez, Machado, and Centurion with goals. Then we played against Flamengo, and it was 5 3. It's, this game was mental, absolutely mental. Franco. Uh, Perez scored four. Also, perfect hat trick. Uh, Cesar Gomez also scoring for us. Franco Perez just decided that was the game he was going to start playing football again. Then we went and played three de Ferreiro. Scored in the fifth minute penalty. Uh, Rodrigo Machado. Not a great game to be fair. Then against Limpiano in the Copa Paraguay first round. They're like a super non-league team uh, we beat them 7-0 Franco Perez banged the hat-trick in then Yegros scored himself a cheeky little hat-trick as well and Santiago Casillas got himself a cheeky little goal so delighted for everybody in that game then against Independiente Paraguay Harald, um, Haroldo and Cesar Gomez scoring both our goals and as you can see we're, uh, we're doing quite well we are unbeaten in the league for quite some time we've also if I show you the one thing I forgot to mention in the last episode we've conceded three goals this year three goals we're unbeaten conceded three goals scored 40 we are dominating this league it is going quite well Libertad are on a five game unbeaten run in the league when are we playing uh, Libertad? Oh, yeah. next this is the next game after this one Woohoo! it's going to be delightful so as you know from past games since the transfer window we are without many players for this game so we are going to have our Copa Libertadores team playing today uh, Kekerish and Goal Centurion and Guzman as our wing backs Diaz and Fior, uh, Florentine as our centre backs Candia and Gomez in central midfield Casillas and Yegros as our wide men Franco Perez and Machado starting up front Chan has been out of form the last couple of games so he's uh it's not going not going to start in this one he's joint top scorer but he's been disappointing recently so we're going to uh just going to drop drop him expect nothing but a win players don't really like that they're still interesting the players still aren't completely on my side which i find curious i would have anticipated them to absolutely adore me but since we came in we haven't lost a single league game we've lost one game in total that I've managed um, and it was against Flamengo in the Copa Libertadores group other than that we just don't lose and Yegoras has put us one up after eight minutes I did the Phil FM finger wag that's how you know it's serious but we're just this game means nothing really. I just want to, to see how I want proof that uh well not proof. Just you know it's just, it, it's an interesting game. It's the sixth game of the, the group. 
I just want to see who gets in with us. Um, we've been dominant, but also not done a whole lot. We've only had six shots, two on target. We have scored, but I'm a little disappointed, to be fair. I was expecting this game to be better than it is. But we have Centurion to take a throw. Not a great throw, but Gomez picks it up. And that was close. Their keeper, lucky to get a hand on it. And they've cleared the corner. That was just terrible. Candia to Florentine. Back to Centurion. That comes to nothing. The other group that is playing today has River Plate and Atletico Nacional. Atletico Nacional, again, a team we should have been managing. We've had three attempts at managing them and never been offered, where they've never accepted a contract with us. And River Plate is a team that I dominated Argentina with in FM19. So if you were here for FM19, you'll know that we were the force of Argentina. We also won the Club World Cup two years in a row. So, you know, pretty dominant, one would say. We won every single league, every single cup, and the Club World Cup twice. And I just, I wanted to, to get a chance to manage Atletico Nacional, but it's not going to happen currently, because I don't see any reason why I'd leave Cerro Corinto at the moment. Flamengo look like they are going to finish third in the group. Universidad Catalica are winning against them in their game. Did not realise we're 70 minutes in. I haven't made any changes yet. We'll, we'll, we'll consider making a change in but a moment. Uh, Guzman gets dispossessed. Terrible clearance and Yegros back of the net. 70 second minute we got two up. We're going to make a couple of our changes now. Machado, not playing well, so Chan is going to come on. Candia's having a poor game. Garcia's going to come on and be a ball-winning midfielder. Franco Perez isn't having a great game either, but Centurion is having a worse game. Walter can come in for his first game, I think, since he picked up his injury. He's not played that much recently. Uh, picked up a fairly bad injury a couple of months ago. He's not really had an opportunity to play since. Um, he's been working his way back to match fitness. Um, and the fact then that we signed, we have two centre-backs that came in, in his position. Has really pushed him out of the uh, the team. We have gone and beaten uh, Liga de Quilolta. Why, why do we keep adding a, a, a Liga de Quito. Uh, fairly convincingly. Even though it was only 2-0. And Universidad Catalica did win their game 2-1. Flamengo scoring a late consolation goal in the 91st minute. Did not make a tiny bit of a difference. I don't know what the story with the draw is. I know there's a... Okay, no, it does the second round draw. After the Libertad game. So you're not going to find out who we're going to be playing in the next the next round. Because well, I suppose we won't know either. We'll know what two teams we could play. But we won't know exactly what we're playing. So we will be back in just a second for the Libertad game. Right, it is time for us to take on Libertad. The more important of the two games we're playing today. Uh, <clears throat> the first one was just purely formality. Now we're going to play second in the league, Libertad, who have one singular defeat to us. And three draws. Should be an interesting game. Uh, um, Sportivo Luqueño. Very surprised they're still hanging on in third place. Only one defeat to us this year. They're doing really rather well. I did not expect them to be up here. But they are. So for this game, we're making wholesale changes. This is the... We have everyone available, almost everyone available to play for us. So Guzman is the only one that's suspended. Everyone else is good to go. So we have Kekarish continuing goal. Uh, Monje has thrown a bit of his, a bit of his effect. So he's on the transfer list. We'll see if he gets sold at some point. Uh, Geraldo and Gamara are going to play as our wingbacks. Diaz and Martinez in central mid or central defence, as per usual. Candia and Gomez in central midfield. 
Uh, Valintis is going to start as the winger today um, because Casillas was a little low. I know I'm playing Gomez regardless, but uh, we have Yegros playing on the left because he has been in quite good form again recently. He's picked himself up um, in the last couple of games, which, well, I suppose the last five or six games, which has been delightful. Uh, Perez and Machado are going to start up front. So we are going to get into this game. I want to continue this good run of form. I don't expect an unbeaten season. There is 44 games in this league. But if we could go the entire season unbeaten, that would be insane. Because we didn't do it with any other team up to this point. To be fair, Ghent was easily the best team we were apart or managing. But if we could go an entire season in Paraguay with 44 games unbeaten, that would be delightful. We are currently one down, just uh, just over a minute into this game, from a corner. Just not great defending. And uh, our defenders just decided against, you know, attempting to jump for that ball. They have another corner, and they've hit the crossbar. This time they've scored, but it is offside. I don't know how he's offside, but he is. I want to see where the lines appear. Oh, it's because Casado was uh, was offside for the first shot. They have two players already down in the seventies, like the low seventies. That's a uh, poor planning on their part. To be fair, many most of our players starting this game have had a week off because they can't play in the Copa Libertadores. Now we're gonna ask for a bit of creativity. We've been really rather poor in this first half. It's not been a great game all round. They've had. There's only been seven shots in the entire game. Eight shots now. But four on target. It's not a, not, it's not, it's not a great game. If I do say so myself. We are going to just uh, demand more again. Players are just really lacklustre. Um, after me saying that Yegros was having a bit of a resurgence. He's kind of decided he doesn't want to, to play football today. <clears throat> I'm not going to pin everything on the fact that Kamara is playing today. But Gamara doesn't normally play, and we're doing poorly. So, two and two, you know. I'm going to tell him, but I'm, uh, I'm not happy. It's, I'm not happy with his performances. And I'm going to do the same with Franco Perez. Franco Perez has scored hat-tricks for fun this season. This is a very important game. I want our players to get stuck in, to do the business, not get sent off. But I want them to play better than they currently are. We've scrambled, scrambled it away. Uh, Perez picks up the loose ball, gets it to Yegros. I'll even take a draw at this stage. But I just don't want to lose, you know. We're 16 games into the season. Unbeaten in every game and we're currently losing. Um... And as I said in the last part of this episode, the only game we've lost since I took over on ha at Halloween, the 31st of October, was a game against Flamengo, which was a terribly poor, boring game. We're 66 minutes in now. And doesn't look like we're doing an awful lot, but Gomez gets the ball forward to Yegros, back to Gamara. Gomez, Gamara gets it in. in. <sighs> Casillas is coming on. Uh, Yegros is poor, so we're going to bring on Chan for him. Thinking one of the central midfielders is going to be coming off as well for... Do I want to bring Garcia on? I probably do. Uh, Martinez, all the way back to... Kekarish. But you know, just... Oh, what? Thankfully, Libertad didn't uh, go forward with that poor pass by the keeper. They still have the ball. Probably going to score from this now because it was a mistake. But it, they've gone forward and then backwards and now they've gone wide. Put it in and... Yep. Kekarish. His... Mistake led to that. We're going to tell the lads to push forward for the final 20 minutes. 
And we are going to go on very attacking Gomez. Short to Gamara. I'm not sure that was the best idea, but okay. Geraldo, back to Gamara. All the way back to the goalkeeper. This free kick was that was a complete waste of a free kick. Uh, while they're doing that, we're just going to make a quick little change. Um, I'm going to make Gomez a roaming playmaker. Take Candia off for Garcia. I'm going to make him a ball winning midfielder. That really wants support. I don't want to lose. God damn it. Martinez gets a forward. Libertad's defenders get there ahead of us. And now they're on the break. And Kickerish manages to save that shot. By them winning it, this game, it's the opposite of what we want. Augusto, the... Come on, lads, push forward. For 10 minutes. Right. Um, tackle him. Press him. And him. And him. We're gonna go. Just, fuck, we're gonna go more direct. Extremely wide. Hit early crosses. Distribute the flanks. Use Taylor Martin and get stuck in. Seems like tactics to me. We're going to lose. We lose to Libertad. Ah. Oh. Enjoy training tomorrow, lads. You are fucking terrible. After me telling you how fantastic. Valintis was, since he joined, shocking in that game. Yegros was shocking in that game. After me talking about how great he's been. Mm. 21 games unbeaten. I knew it was going to happen, though, to be fair, because they were talking about... Um, where was it? That we were... We were guaranteed the... Yeah... Relentless uh, Chero Parento are now but a matter of time away from setting a new Copa Tigo record for consecutive victories. Uh, have eight, have won eight matches on the spin. And keeping up their tremendous form, we'll see them break the Copa Tigo record for consecutive victories and seal their, 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 their very deserved place in history. The existing record is also eight, just meaning one more game would be a, uh, you know. That was shocking. Right. We are going to have the... We're going to come back for the Copa Libertadores. Oh, no, we're not. Because it's, it's quite far away. I did not realise... Oh, because they have to play the first knockout round as well. Hmm. We'll come back for Guaneri and uh, Nacional in the Copa Paraguay Cup. Because you were supposed to see Guaneri in the last episode. And you didn't. So... We we ended up with zero goal difference for this episode. We won a game that meant nothing. We lost a game that meant everything. So the gap is after closing down to four points. We've lost our unbeaten run for the season. It's all down here from fella, down downhill from here, fellas. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share with all of your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. This doesn't really deserve a like or a comment or all that, but you know, if you want to, do it. Bye.